Well, that is not supposed to be there. That's a 640 foot long Great Lakes freighter that made an unexpected visit to Belle Isle this morning after losing power in the Detroit River. Almost immediately, people were rushing to the island to check it out. Will Jones live on Belle Isle for us. It was not stuck for long, Will. Devin, it was quite the sight to see here. You can see it there in the distance. That's where it was moved to after getting back afloat this afternoon. This freighter looks huge from far away. You can imagine what it looked like up close. Pretty exciting. It's not often you can come down and see a ship 20 feet offshore. A 639 foot freighter running aground around 730 this morning near Belle Isle, attracting dozens of curious spectators with cameras in hand. So I was in the shipping industry and I heard about it. My friend was down here earlier this morning and caught it. So I said, I'll come down and take some pictures of it and uh, see how they uh, pull her out. According to the owner of the freighter, the Mark W. Barker was carrying salt from Cleveland, headed to Milwaukee, and it lost power and maneuverability. The vessel turned to the left unexpectedly. The captain dropped the anchor and this was the end result. The freighter stuck in dirt. So we came down to see what was happening. The Mark W. Barker set sail for the first time last summer. It's the first Great Lakes bulk carrier to be built on the Great Lakes in more than 35 years. Oh, this is a big deal. At noon today, working with the United States Coast Guard and a tug, the freighter backed away from the bank and headed toward the Belle Isle anchorage to determine what went wrong. With the freighter out of sight, the crowd quickly cleared out. Like I said, being a boat nerd, it's always fun to see things happening with the Great Lakes freighters. Traffic is still moving along on the river with that ship still there. And what is interesting about all this, people are still coming by and saying, is the freighter still here? Yes, it is still here, just in a different spot. Fortunately, there were no injuries aboard that ship, no damage to the ship, and no pollution to the water. Devin? There are legions of people who ardently follow uh, yeah. the Great Lakes freighter traffic. They've got apps for it and everything. Will, uh, any idea how long the ship is going to be anchored then in the river? Well, yeah, that's the, the big question. No one knows at this point how long it's going to be here, but I do know that investigators are aboard that ship trying to see what caused this issue to prevent this from happening again. But it was interesting what you said about the apps. I learned so much about ships and apps, how to track them. I didn't know right? any of this information <laughs> right. until now. And they were using terms. I'm like, what is that again? Can exactly. you tell me? Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's a club. That's yeah. for sure. It's really amazing. Great stuff. What a day on Belle 